Hey guys, it's Claris and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my updated fall and winter nail care routine. I do hope you enjoy and that something from this video might be helpful to you. So let's get right into it. So I love doing my nails and I have them painted almost all the time. But in between sets, there are a few things I like to do to care for them and make sure they are in good condition. So I've just taken some gel nails off and I did wear them for about two weeks so in that time my nails did grow up. I'm going to cut them all down to about the length of the pointer nail on my right hand. I like to start by first using a straight nail clipper and I did find this one uh, called a toenail clipper but anyways I do like using this one. I'm first using it to clip the tip of the nail to about my desired length and then I'll just come in on the sides and just take away the corners just to help with filing to get to that almond shape a little bit faster. Once I'm happy with the length and rough shape of my nails, I'm going to grab my glass file. This one is my Bliss Kiss. So here I'm really just going along and giving the nail its new shape and it does help a lot that we take out the corners with the nail clipper. That just helps me get to the almond pointy shape I like a bit faster. And while it is a good idea to avoid sawing back and forth with a regular file on your natural nails, a friend did tell me that it is alright to do that with a glass file. And I have been doing that since she told me and I've not noticed any problems really because of it. This file is just so soft and gentle on my natural nails. Once I've finished shaping my nails on both my hands, the next thing I'm going to do is cuticle. And since I do manicure my hands often, there's not a lot I do have to push back or trim, but it's still a good thing to do. So here I'm just dropping on some cuticle remover. And what this will do is soften up any dead cuticle tissue on the nail. And then here I'm just taking my metal cuticle pusher and just gently pushing back on the nail plate, starting from around halfway down the nail. But if you do use a tool like mine, it is metal, so do be careful not to push down too hard. You can definitely scrape and do damage to your nail plate, and there's no need to be pushing that hard. The softener will do all the work for you. The cuticle remover I'm using is from C&D. It was in my student nail tech kit that I got when I enrolled in a nail school. I do have a video all about that on my channel if you'd be interested. After that, I'm just going to go wash my hands to get all of that excess cuticle remover off. You don't want to leave this on your nails. But after that, now it's time for some cuticle oil. Olive, jojoba, and coconut are all great choices. You can totally use it just like this from the bottle, but I have been using this little concoction I made myself. This is just simply olive oil mixed with little pieces of chopped garlic. Now this stuff does smell pretty garlicky. So for all of you out there who don't like the smell of garlic, this might not be the best choice for you. But after you massage it and it soaks right into your skin. In addition, I also heard rubbing your hands with lemon afterwards helps to get rid of that smell and lemon is also good for nails. But I would say my nails are doing pretty well recently since I've been using this garlic olive oil concoction and you can definitely see more videos about it from Rose Pearl on YouTube. She's the one that I got the inspiration to do this from and I can definitely say it has helped me. The more times a day you can do this, the better. I do it at least once a day before bed, but whenever you think of it, it's always a great idea. In addition to moisturizing your nails with oil, if you feel like your hands are dry and need a little more TLC, here's one of my favorite routines I like doing. All you need are some cotton gloves. I just have these old ones here and they work fine. And then lotion or hand cream. Now this is a super easy overnight routine to moisturize your hands and nails. You're just going to rub that lotion all over your hands and then go to sleep and in the morning you will have super nice soft hands. I haven't done this routine in a while but I probably will be doing it more as it's getting to the colder months. So definitely a super simple easy thing you can do for yourself. So the final thing I do to take care of my nail health is I always have them painted. So I might do regular nail polish, gel polish, dip powder, but although my nails may be long they are pretty thin and I do always need to be wearing something over them to protect them. Alright guys so that was my little hand and nail care routine I thought I'd share with you guys. Comment below what is your favorite cuticle oil you use on your nails or if you have a favorite lotion or hand cream I'd definitely be curious to see what you guys have to share. If you guys are interested in seeing more nail videos from me be sure to subscribe for new videos every Wednesday. Thank you guys so so much for watching I do really appreciate it. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So I hope to see you in my next video and until next time have a magical day.